easy to read. Uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 2. <clears throat> when I came to you, brothers, I did not come with eloquence or superior wisdom as I proclaimed to you with as I proclaim to you the testimony about God. For I resolved to know nothing while I was with you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. I came to you in weakness and fear and with much trembling. My message and my preaching were not with wise and persuasive words, but with a demonstration of the Spirit's power so that your faith might not rest on men's wisdom, but on God's power. Amen. Amen to that. So he was saying, listen, Paul, again, he was going into places. Remember, he was a Pharisee. So he knew the zealotry over when it, uh, what it took to remain in a certain status, to remain this image of holiness, self-made image, humanistic image of holiness, to be living the law, to be the law, to, uh, to judge people harshly because they will never understand and they will never be on the level of a Sadducee or a Pharisee because they are living what's holy. And in order to, you would have to become a Pharisee or Sadducee. And, you know, in that case, there was only room enough for so many too, you know. Uh, those funds and those th- privileges didn't go around to everybody. Isn't that interesting? a humanistic gatekeeping way of privilege. When the Lord's gift is to everyone, everyone, including those who don't want to hear it, who may hate you, the Lord's gift is forgiveness of sins to eternal life. And that is a gift to everybody. That is the gift from God. And Paul understood this. And that's why he said, the wisdom didn't come from him. It comes from the Lord. I say all the time, I am not a Bible scholar. I am not someone who is, say, I know all things, trust and believe. I believe I know nothing. Like every time I read the Bible, it makes me feel even more so that I don't know. There's so much that the Lord's wisdom is and how it applies because it's the living word. And so every time I read it, I'm like, I thought I understood this, but now I'm a different point in my life. And it means something completely different, but it all leads to the same thing. The Lord's love and guidance, the Lord's perfect love and guidance. And that's how it's supposed to be. If we were to read it and understand it, the first time immediately for the rest of our life, that's not how I believe that this is set up. This, uh, how I see it and how I read it from the Lord is, it is for us to grow and learn continually, continually. Because when we read it once in our life, we see how it is in our life. You read it again at a different time. It could be five minutes from then. Things could have happened within a short amount of time. And the Lord's revelation to it can mean something else to benefit you in your life. The Lord is love and he is wonderful. Um, And like I mentioned, like I mentioned, uh, you can tell me how you see it in the comments. Tell me how you are reading uh, when it comes to what Paul is saying here about how the eloquence, the wisdom of God, it's not from him, it is from God. Before we go on, though, what kind of thoughts or feelings come to your mind when we read over this? How does it make you feel and what does it make you think? 